What's up guys and welcome back to Vision Pennies. Today is a day where I film another mukbang. The last one I did was an Indian mukbang, which a lot of people got triggered by. Anyways, today I'm gonna be doing a Ethiopian mukbang. So there's this really kind of famous place in Montreal, especially in the vegetarian slash vegan community that does a very nice Ethiopian food. They do the whole traditional injera bread and all the other side dishes. Um, so I'm not going to be going to the actual restaurant. I think they are open now to have people dine inside, but I'm still kind of taking my precautions. I'd rather just order it and have it um, to eat at my place. Plus I'm kind of lazy and I don't feel like going all the way there because it's kind of like far from where I live. So it is now 5.15. I was waiting all day to like order from there, but they only, they only open at 5. Um, so I had to wait all day and now it's finally 5 o'clock so I'm on DoorDash and I'm about to order because I have a Dash Pass which means free delivery so I'm really going to take advantage of that. I decided to just go with the vegan tasting menu. I really couldn't figure out the difference. Obviously like the tasting menu is going to have more options so I figured this is a mukbang. We're going to go all out and we're just going to order <laughs> the larger option i didn't know it was gonna take that long but now it says it's gonna be here in like an hour over an hour so i'm gonna patiently wait and i'll update you guys when the food is here okay so we have an update it's been officially one hour but the food just got here so i'm so happy about that the delivery guy kind of just popped out out of an alley and there he was with my bag of food so kind of a sketchy like experience so far it also came in this bag here a plastic bag which is kind of usually unusual usually it's like a nice little paper brown paper bag but this was all stacked up in here and it looks like there, there's a lot of food for us to try so very excited <laughs> i think i ordered the right amount because i am very very hungry so i believe this is what they call the injera so this is really interesting they give you like pretty cute containers that I can actually reuse. So this is the injera bread. Then we have a whole bunch of dishes here. I'm gonna open this up shortly. And then a huge container of more food. I'm so excited. Ooh, we got a little vegetable saute, more injera, a little salad. Oh my gosh, this looks incredible. This definitely smells amazing so far. I, I wish you could like smell this because it smells great. It smells amazing. So I'm gonna try and set this up all cute and then we'll get started. Let's go ahead and look it up. Kind of sound really fucking stupid right now. All right, so we have Butisha is chickpeas pureed with garlic lemon. Um, so butishas would be chickpeas pureed with garlic and lemon. So I think it's that one. Then we have the yeti matim. So I was right. It is this salad here. What I kill to what is the cabbage and the potatoes and the carrots. The split piece too is yiki alicia. The yemisir, spicy lentils. So I'm gonna guess it's that one on the side here. What else? We're almost done, guys. Then we have the wat burger gan, which I believe is the beets beets here and then lastly we have the gomen i'm gonna assume it means spinach something yep collard greens oh this is collard greens it's not spinach okay that's pretty much in for everything oh, yeah <laughs> that was a mouthful but we did it so it is a sour fer fermented flatbread so that's why it does smell sour with a spongy texture which is right on because it, it is very very spongy it reminds me of a very light uh, pancake so I don't know if I should just eat it by itself first just to taste the texture but I know it's meant to be dipped in different appetizers and I brought a fork just in case but I'm pretty sure you just kind of just use the injera and kind of just grab stuff like this you know so I'm just going to taste it I know it's not probably supposed to be eaten by itself but I'm still going to taste it first this is a lot better than I expected it to be so very pleasantly surprised. So I think I'm supposed to unroll it and then use a piece like this and kind of just grab stuff. I'm probably like 
so stupid man it's probably not even the proper way some of the spicy lentils here this is definitely very yummy so far the spicy lentils are bomb not too spicy you can feel the kick in there it is very satisfying mm -mm 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 -mm. eating with your hands is definitely a very popular thing in african culture um i'm not ethiopian i'm from west africa <clears throat> and i know that um that is something we do over there as well so definitely very um common i mean we do have utensils but eating with your hands is so much easier because usually we, you will have some type of bread in my country it's not um it's not bread like this sticky bread i can't remember the name right now in, in english but it's like i think it's like fugu so it's like sticky and you use that to dip so you usually always have some type of like like carb bread slash like like vessel that you use to like dip in sauces so yeah ours is fufu other cultures you have injera or other cultures you have naan okay so right now i'm eating the caramelized vegetables with the ethiopian spices it's definitely very very flavorful very saucy as well i did have the option to order some rice which I did not, but this would be great over rice. I kind of liked it. I like it rolled up like this, so I'm just going to keep it like that. I'm, I, it's probably not the proper way, but it's much more efficient this way. It gave me a whole bucket. They said I was going to have seven pieces, and I had like ten. So they definitely over-delivered. Now I move on to the main meal. So this seems to be the beets. So I don't know, it's probably roasted beets with zucchinis it looks super tasty so i'm just gonna again have that with me jira i'm using a fork here but so i will say i'm not a fan of beets in general especially roasted i like beet juice but roasted it's not my favorite <laughs> now i'm gonna try the collard greens which is gamme and i don't know why i thought it was spinach like it's obviously collard greens but I, I don't know, I was tired, I was hungry, so... Okay, I'm gonna stop using a fork before I get crucified in the comments. So, very interesting. Very fresh tasting. So, I'm back on the fork. I'm gonna have some of this, um... I can't remember the name of this one, but it's carrots, cabbage, and potatoes. Very tender. Almost sweet. Guys, <laughs> It's supposed to be really tasty, but I'm actually eating. So I'm going to wrap it up and taste the last one here. Wow. <laughs> I don't even know what spices they use on that, but it's very, very yummy. It's funny because I always think of myself as someone who doesn't really like lentils. But then I have food like this and it just makes me question my whole existence because obviously I just don't know how to prepare lentils for them to be tasty because this is absolutely incredible so I think it's time that I cut the camera and have a little bit more of this food before I pass the fuck out hopefully you guys enjoyed seeing me try Ethiopian food for the first time let me know if you want more mukbangs what type of cuisine should I try next and um, yeah I'll see you guys in the next video bye